Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So it is Saturday morning, it is the start of the weekend. I'm still not feeling very good. I've had an awful week with illness, as you might be able to hear. Um, but nonetheless, life goes on. Oh, do you remember that Leanne Rhymes song? Oh, life goes on. Love that song. Anyway, right, so I've already reacted to semi-final one of Pesmaza Eurovizia, the national final of the song festival in Serbia where the winner will represent Serbia at Eurovision 2023. I watched that with one glass of wine. <laughs> I think because a certain amount of songs that are favourites weren't in my top four. People are like, ah, oh, you were so wasted. I genuinely wasn't. I just like literally was sipping one glass of wine. <laughs> Um, but no wine this one, just coffee. Yeah, I think wine would probably be the death of me right now. Death of us, Elsie Bay. I'm on a roll this morning um, with my song references. And if you're from Serbia and this is the first video you're watching, I've, you've probably switched off by now. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, there are 16 songs. So this is gonna be a hefty part of my morning. Watching these, reacting to these, working out my kind of top eight. It's top eight that I did, wasn't it, from semi-final one. Um, and then, yeah, no doubt, go, probably not liking the ones everyone else likes. But hey-ho, that is the beauty of my channel, hopefully. Um, the fact that I don't just repeat what everyone else says. No shade intended. Um, but yeah. Right, okay, Saturday morning. Let's enjoy the gifts that are coming from Pesma za Eurovizia 2023, semi-final two. Okay, just to clarify the order in which I'm doing this, as you can see, we're starting off straight out the uh, gate with Hurricane, the new Hurricane, Hurricane 2023. Although, didn't they, did they form last year? Um, Hurricane revitalized. So, um, this is the order that I'm doing it. It's just, I'm allowing this playlist to run through the RTS Pesma za Eurovizia canal which has over 100,000 subscribers. Um, right, Hurricane. Uh, what if we just start with my favorite and then all the other 15 afterwards are just gonna be, is it 15, Six, 16, Shane? Uh, yeah. Also, I've gotta make sure I do this in a way that I don't get copyrighted. I got copyrighted like five times in the first one. Right, Hurricane, let's do this. Volume up, volume up on my laptop. Okie doke. Already love it. I'm assuming they've got the same producers. I mean, this is exactly the sort of music that I absolutely love, right? I kind of assumed I was gonna love this. Oh, this is a good one. Mm -mm. I've been looking forward to watching this, watching this one, listening this one, listening to this one. What's wrong with my language? Controversial. On instant first listen, I actually prefer this to the suit two songs that Hurricane, old Hurricane, previous Hurricane, original Hurricane sent to Eurovision. Although obviously we know with both those performances, when you watch them and you see those girls perform them, they go a hundred times fold in regards to my love for them. But on instant listen, on studio version, I prefer this one. I do like this song. This is very much upbeat pop number from the Balkans, which I could eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. <laughs> it's interesting because vocally, they still sound very similar to previous Hurricane. Sounds a little bit like Angela's Origami last year, the chorus, this bit does. I like this one. Okay. Sacrilegious. Whilst I love Loco Loco, it wasn't an instantaneous love. Um, it took me, a, not a while, but a little bit to to get on board with that song. And then obviously when I saw it on stage, I was obsessed. Um, this one is more immediate for me. And as a result of that, 
I do prefer an instant listen, this one to Loco Loco. But let's see if they can give the vocal and the energy and the choreography and the hair choreography like previous Hurricane. Because potentially, when this is performed, it might be underwhelming. But let's see. But studio version alone, like that one. That's a good one. Zummy, zimmy, zummy. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Going in, going in hard, going in high, going in. Love, love, love. Right, song number two. Good luck, song number two. Okay. Nadia. With the strings. Interesting. This one has potential. Hmm. It's interesting because this week, I listened to Beatrice from uh, Lithuania. I like that song. So I'm gonna compare this to that one. This kind of female pop come rock energy. I think I prefer Beatrice from Lithuania to this one. It's not bad. But I've heard a better version of this song in Lithuania this year. I'm not crazy about this production. I, if the production confuses me. The pace, the change in pace throughout the song. I mean, it's okay. Does it make me want to download it? No. Yeah, that second verse is well long. And as a result of that, we just kind of... Hey, Ferrari. Um... I don't really have much flavour in that song. Um, I'm going to give that... Let's go a 6.8 out of 10. That takes us on to Falari. Poslamene. What's with all the young guys singing upbeat numbers this year in Pesma za Eurovizia? Pesma za Eurovizia has got young. Thank you, Constructor. <laughs> Do you know what? It's funny then because I was just saying, and now on a dance break, he's kind of giving it to me. This one's alright. What does Posle Man mean? Posle Man. After me. Okay. After me. Pause man. Pause man. I like this one. Mm, mm, mm. I want this dance break to hit harder. But, seeing on stage, there's potential for some decent creative choreography to go with this one. There we go. This one's good. How do I say Posle Men? I'm worried I'm saying it wrong. A Posle Mene. Mene. Posle Mene. Okay, getting my Serbian language lesson on. Posle mene. I was right at the beginning, after me. Right, okay. 8.2 <laughs> out of 10. Well done, Falari. Enjoyed that one. Posle mene. Zezna. Why do you do this to me? No one else is watching my account. Right, Zezna Rumba. So many different ethnic notes. Oh, I can't wait to see this one on stage. I think this one's my favourite so far. It's just high octane energy and it doesn't come off. As in like, straight away it takes you here. And like, you're just up here the whole time. This one's my favourite so far. Boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom. 
The melody on that chorus. Very good. I think from memory of all the ones I listened to in semi-final one, and obviously my top four was off piste <laughs> Went against the grain, apparently. But nonetheless, that's my favourite song of Pesma Zaya so far. It's like someone's, I've mentioned this before, but definitely with this song. It's like someone's worked out my top 10 songs of all time, taken bits of elements from each one, and put it into a song, and it's given me rumba. Um, yeah, love. 11 out of 10. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Frali. Oh. There's every potential that I will love this song. This semi final's good. Oh man, I don't even know how I'm going to do a top eight so far. I'm a bit worried. Okay. It's alright. I mean, it doesn't help that it came after Rumba, unfortunately. But I'm liking the ethnic notes in the production. I feel I've, I've got the song, though. In the sense of the first minute and a half. Fine. I feel we're going to just get the, a bit of repetition. I respect the sound. This is the kind of song that I'd want to listen to on holiday. <laughs> in a bar, at 10 o'clock with my vodka and coke, and they're just there on the stage, giving me life. Okay, that's quite difficult, because it's not a bad song. Um, I'm gonna give that a 7.3. Yeah, the sun's out. Comp it complements the sunny morning in Milan that I'm currently experiencing. Right, right. Igor, Bane, I'll call him Mr. Lalich. I feel this is one of those songs that's gonna be elevated on stage. Like, like Swing It, No Prohibition in Norway. This isn't as good as that though. I'm well hot. Yeah, this is not a fave of mine. This is the first song where it feels quite long. <laughs> but I give every song respect. I don't skip. Unless it's really bad. Appreciate the energy though. And the grooviness. But yeah. Not for me. Whoever is playing those drums must have been exhausted after recording this. I don't know, unless it's a computerized beat. <sighs> Still going. <laughs> what does that mean? Hold on a minute. Because I love you. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, I wish I loved you back. Oh, that is not a song that keeps giving. Why do you do this? My account is not being used somewhere else. You are confused. Right, Egret. We're slowing things down. And I love me a Balkan ballad. Oh, I didn't give that previous song a score. Six. Okay, this doesn't feel like a Balkan ballad. It's just a ballad. And due to the heavy piano, it's nondescript in regards, so you wouldn't be able to locate this song to a particular country other than the language. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping to like this one. It's quite dated, isn't it? Something's just not working with me for the production. Oh, hello, female voice. Are these just backing singers? Yeah, this production is cray cray. This song, I feel, is a bit lost, doesn't know what it wants to be. I find this song really confusing. <laughs> but it's probably because my foggy ill brain. 
or my unsophisticated music taste. Hey, Serbia, every time I don't like a song, it's a chance for some Serbian lessons. Ako shvatim kasno. If I do it late. Ako shvatim kasno. Well, I'm late semi-final too. It's taken me a while to get around to listening to these. That's the only thing me and you, Egret, share in common. If we are both late, we are. Right, okay, I'm going to give that a 5.9. Okay. Another young guy, what's this about? Young guy with a boppy number. Are they just going to cancel each other out, though? That's my only concern. Zipsy, is that how you say it? Is this good as Falari? That's the question. I'm not sure if I'm loving the kind of... I would say piano, but it sounds like a keyboard production in the background. Regrettably, Zipsy, there are other male, young male bops that are better than this one, I'm afraid. We've, we've hit a bad run of songs. Oh, it's all right, actually. It's been a bit harsh, I think. I don't think it's as good as Falari, though. But since Aruba, it's probably my favourite one since then. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay. Serbian lesson. Gle. A sin. Interesting. Gle. A sin. Um, let's give that one a 7.9. Wasn't a complete sin. What is this little treat? Igor. Okay. Trying to understand the relevance of the teddy bears. Because it doesn't sound like anyone who would take a picture with teddy bears yet. Oh, hold on a minute. Lest <laughs> teddy bears are possessed. I'm not sure if I like it or not. It's okay. Like, I checked out the songs from Lithuania, as I said this week. There's a song by Gabrielis, a kind of dark, beat, pop, slow song, which is better than this. It has more of an obvious melody in it. The, t the teddy bears confused me. I was expecting something really camp. <laughs> but it's very dark pop. Um... It's all right. I'm gonna give it a 7.8. It's actually okay though, Shane. This chorus is all right. It's just as good as Dzipsy, and I gave that 7.9. So 7.9. 7.9 for Igor. Yelena. Is she gonna give me my Balkan ballad that I need and want in semi-final two? This feels more Balkany ballady. Like that chord change. Oh, it's a bit dated, <laughs> but it's a bit of a kind of like a after the songs that I've listened to. Yeah, it's very. This could have been in Eurovision in the nineties. Yelena, that's not to discredit the song. It's refreshing. After a lot of manufactory poppy numbers. And she's got a little choir going on now. What the hell happened there? No, I like it. Yeah, I'm not against this kind of electronic doop doop doop. <laughs> Adds a bit of flavor. I need a lighter. Oh, it's confusing. <laughs> what happened to the electro beat? <laughs> but weirdly enough, I actually quite like it. <laughs> I like this chorus. Like I said, it's fresh. It's like put it, popping in a mint into your mouth. <laughs> ah, this is all right. <sighs> Yelena, was the song dated? 
C, yes. However, did you enjoy that, Shane? Yes. Did you enjoy it as much as Falari? No. So 8.1 for you, Elena, but that definitely puts you in the running of being in my top eight. That's probably one that no one likes, but hey ho. Oh, hey, Ivana. <clears throat> you look fabulous. Hi, right, we've got high production beats now. <laughs> no dem demos. No songs that sound like they should be 30 years ago. But do we have auto tune though? I don't know, Ivana. Maybe she's an amazing live vocalist. I'm waiting for this song to do something. We're a minute in. Come on, Ivana. <clears throat> Take me somewhere cool. Not sure. Sounds well produced. But there are much better songs in P. Seddy this year, I feel. Yeah, I'm not sure on this one. That's just not much of a melody to hook on to. I think the just the pretty half-decent expensive production is there to fool you. <laughs> I don't know if there's much of a song here. Unachimaha. The unotsima or Notsima. What does that mean? In the nights. Unachima. I actually don't think I'm feeling any better. I'm sweating profusely. Okay, right. In the nights. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that one. Um, I'm going to give that one a seven. A seven. Ivana, seven. You do look fabulous. Good luck. Gift. Oh, we've got these 80s sounding songs everywhere in these national finals. I'm, I don't naturally navigate towards rock sounding songs. Unless there's something about them that sparks my interest. <laughs> and I'm not sure this song is giving me that. I'm sure if you like rock though, this sounds like a half decent number. Doesn't sound like a bad song within this genre. It's all right. It's not the sort of song that I would normally listen to, however. I mean, I'm sure if I watch this, I want to get my rock on. But it's not a song that I would listen to. But like I said, there is... I understand and respect and acknowledge the good elements of this song that make it a half-decent rock-inspired song. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately rock songs don't normally gel with me, generally. Okay, gift. Um, I'll give that a 6.9. 6... six <laughs> Nardi gave a 6.8. That was rocky though, Shane. Oh, that was, this one's probably slightly better than that one. 6.9. Okay, Milan. Milan. Lion King? <laughs> this song is strange. Although I don't completely hate it. This one's alright. No, I'm being serious. It is. <laughs> so far. What's going to happen in this chorus? I think I just like classically sounding bulky songs. I quite like this one. Like I liked Yelena's. This is a bulky ballad song. I like this one. Do I like it more than a Yelena though? I gave that 8.1. Depends what the song's about. Then no men. <laughs> it originally it said hairdryer. Phenomenon. Oh yeah, phenomenon. Uh. <laughs> I 
I like this one. I think I, I think it does nudge Elena for me. I like that chord change there, that bit there. It's music to my ears. <laughs> you can't sing at the best of times. Don't try and sing ill. Right, Hurricane was nine. Ruba was 11. I cheated with that one. I think that might be my third favorite. I think I preferred that one to Falare, and that's currently my third place. Um, I'm gonna give that one an 8.6. Thank you very much, Milan, Milan, Bujakovic, Mr. Bujakovic, with Phenomenon, not Phenomen. <laughs> Duo Grand, Viva La Vida. This has potential for me. Oh, he's got a beautiful voice. Oh, hello. I think if you're going to bring a song to Eurovision or a national selection and bring an operatic flair, my expectations of that are high. And I'm not sure it's hitting that. Man, both of these voices are great. Great? Very good. I feel the song isn't really doing much other than showcasing their amazing voices. Beautiful voices, both of them. Oh, here we go. Oh, hi, Maniskin. <laughs> and welcome, Maniskin. <laughs> yeah, you've lost me, duo grand. Yeah, nah, what was that? <laughs> nah, nah. That's well confusing. What now? Oh, yeah. Come back, Maniskin, come back. Yeah, this is not... In my top eight. Duo Grand. What the hell do I make of that? Five? No, they've got good voice. Very good voices. Shane, credit the voice. Six. Six. A whole one point for the vocal. Yeah, that wasn't great. Okay. Angela. Come on, Angela. We're near the end now. Give us some gold dust. all right I feel I've heard this sort of sound time and time again I think the semi-final started very strong I genuinely think I preferred more songs in semi-final one and I know a lot of people told me semi-final two was better but I am also ill and that might have a factor to play she looks like a little pop star she's got a great vocal I just think the song I know this song. I heard heard this sort of song time and time again. It's got a bit more interesting now the beats kicked in. It's definitely more kind of radio friendly. Well, I, as in the radio that I would listen to. This, I can't comment in Serbia, but it's more kind of Western sounding, appealing. But as a result of that, it just then becomes quite bland. Okay, hey, Angela. It's all right. Seven? Seven. Right, Doris, you are my last song, I believe. Come on, Doris. Because there is a spot in the top eight for you. <laughs> I think. I'm looking at my scores. Top eight's going to be difficult. This sounds like a song that you would see or hear at the end of a film. When the girl and the guy, or the girl and the girl, or the boy and the boy get together, and you hear it in the background, like an uplifting, yay, happy, <laughs> happy ending. It's all right. It's not wow. And that's when they kiss, <laughs> and everyone lives happily ever after. And this is all right. Yeah, I don't mind this one. And I quite like this one, yeah. It's taken a while, don't get me wrong, it's taken a while. 8 point... 8.2? Point 
Okay, Doris, you actually ended on a good note and we are over. Right, let's work out. Top eight, digress, come back, inform. Yeah, all of that stuff. <laughs> so I've worked out my top eight, but I've also <laughs> realised that I think I'm still ill. <laughs> like my eyes are really red and I am still sweating. Um, so maybe I shouldn't have done this, but also I'm doing this because a few people are like, where is your semi-final two? I'm like, I'm ill. Um, so I've done it. <laughs> I've enjoyed the majority of it, but a few observations. Number one, I definitely, 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 generally thought semi-final one was stronger. And moreover, I really struggled to narrow down my top eight and semi-final one, where this one I had to go over a recap to work out my top, like I had my top six easy in this one and my seventh and eighth, I had to quickly go back through um, to work out, yeah, which ones are the ones that I wasn't completely crazy about were in my top eight. However, I will be honest with you, however, 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 that I think my top three in this are very, 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 very strong. And I think maybe my top two might be my favorite top two in all of the 32 songs. So that's not to discredit semi-final two. Right, okay, number eight. I had to go back in this one and I changed it. It was originally Dezipsy, but then I listened to that one again. I was like, no, it's just a, it's just a nice-ish up tempo song. It's not anything special. So I went back and listened to Frali, the, the, the ladies with that traditionally sounding song. And I was like, do you know what? Shove that in there, Shane. Number eight. That's a song that makes you smile and you kind of get get the vibe of that and it kind of adds something a little bit different amongst the mix. So that's my number eight. My number seven is Igor. The teddy bears did throw me. I was expecting something a little bit more fabulous, not a kind of dark, bassy, slower number. But ultimately there is something quite decent on that chorus, a decent melody. That's my number seven. Number six, Yelena. Yelena... Vlovic. Um, yeah, that was unquestionable. That was always going to be in my top eight after listening to it. I know it's slightly dated. I don't care. I quite listened to that. I quite listened to that. That's the illness coming through, Shane. I quite liked listening to that. Um, yeah, definitely deserves its place in my top six. Enjoyed that one. Number five is Doris Milosevic. She uh, she ended off this semi-final two marathon with that kind of... Still, I listened to it again earlier, well, in the recap. And I was like, yeah, it does sound like a song from a movie soundtrack. Um, but... Yeah, I wasn't completely sold in the first half, but by the time I finished, I was like, yeah, it's quite decent, this one. That's my number five. Number four is Falari. There is a lot of young guys singing up-tempo numbers. This isn't a bad one. Um, I quite liked this one. On instant listen and through the recap, it still stood out. So that's my number four. And then, yeah, my number three is Milan, Milan Bojokovic. I really like that one. Yes, obviously, at the beginning, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> The first 10 seconds is like ingredients from different cuisines that don't quite gel. But when it starts going, you're like, this is Shane Fodder. This is the Balkan ballad that you wanted in semi-final two, Shane. So yeah, really enjoyed that one. Easily in my top, easily in my top eight overall in both semi-finals. So thank you very much, Millen, despite the confusion at the beginning. And then my top two, I think it's pretty obvious, my top two. And moreover, I think if you've watched the reaction videos, you'll know exactly which order these top two go in. Number two is Hurricane. What a fantastic song. <laughs> I don't know why. <coughs> what a fantastic song to premiere as the new face of Hurricane. And as I said, for me, on Instant Listen, I prefer this to Hasta La Vista and Loco Loco. So on Instant Listen, I loved this one. And over the summer, when I was traveling around the Balkans, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Croatia, Serbia, Montenegro, I really got into my Balkan pop. And yeah, this is very much in that vein of all the songs I was listening to over the summer. Absolutely loved it. I'm really, really, really excited to see that one live on stage. And then number one is probably my favourite of the whole Pesma za Eurovizia. And I think for once, I've got a funny feeling this actually might be a fan favourite. Because I know Georgie, my friend from Eurovision T, I'm pretty sure I've seen one or two videos on Instagram of him dancing to this song. 
<laughs> so as I was watching it, I was like, oh, I think this is the one Georgie likes. And as a result, Georgie normally tends to like the kind of fan favorites. So I might be in line with this video <laughs> in regards to what people like. But yeah, it's Zezna, Zayna, um, with Rumba. Rumba? Yeah, I was obsessed with that song. And I'm ill. And that song made me live my best life for those three minutes. So that is a good, good thing. And I really hope this song on stage looks and sounds as good as the studio version because it gives me life. So I know which song I'm going to be rooting for. It's got to pass the semis, right, first, obviously. And they're not for a while yet. They're not next week. They're the week after, right? So yeah, I've done it, all 32 songs. I'm sorry the semi-final two video was later. Obviously the Eurovision schedule is crazy and I've been ill this week. So I'm paying, playing catch up. But also now I'm doing this video, I realize I wanna get back to bed. So yeah, those are my thoughts. So please let me know what you think. Please do comment below your favorites in semi-final two and your favorites overall. And yeah, I can't promise I will see you today, tomorrow, but I will see you very, very, very soon. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do click the notification button so you're informed if and when I post videos. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.